the W, the O, the R, the K. How's everybody doing out there? I'm here with TNT. How are you guys doing today? Hi. Fantastic, man. Go ahead and uh, introduce yourselves. My name is Tiffany Burich. That's Beast Barbie if you don't know. <laughs> I'm Tori Washington, the vegan dread. All right, all right, so first things first. What inspired both of you to become bodybuilders? Ladies first. Um, I've always been interested in fitness. My dad was actually into weightlifting when I was a kid, and I actually had a, a gym in my basement. So, you know, at 10 years old, I knew how to use a leg press and a hip sled and, you know, okay. all that kind of stuff. So, um, you know, I became a personal trainer when I was 19 and um, degree in exercise science. And, um, you know, I just always been interested in fitness. And then I, you know, like to show what, what I can do and push my body you know, to get okay. muscles and show how, uh, you know, females look with muscles and uh, it can be sexy too and not mainly, so. All right. I got started in bodybuilding. Really what inspired me was uh, when I was younger, watching Arnold Schwarzenegger videos and mm. movies and things of that nature. They kind of made me say, man, I want to look like that. Yeah. And so moving from Jamaica, I moved to Florida. I started really getting into working out before I moved again to Alabama. But um, just the... I really wanted, I was inspired by the look, how the body looked and wanted the aesthetic to be on looks. stage. And, <laughs> but I didn't start competing until later and so, okay. uh, but my beginnings was usually where most people that compete in bodybuilding, most men was on a swatch thing at the open. That's how I started mine. Okay. Um, since you've gone vegan, how does your, um, your training change? Has it changed at all since for when it comes to competitions? I mean, since I became vegan, I actually put on 15 pounds of muscle. Okay. Um, I was very um, thin, you know, before when I was eating meat and I wasn't eating enough calories and then I started paying attention to, you know, what I was putting in my body and, you know, actually looking at macros and understanding how that works and I was able to put on muscle and I can actually train a lot harder now. You know, I can do um, different types of training. I do functional training, I do CrossFit, I do strict weightlifting. Um, so the only thing that's changed is that I can actually push myself even harder, have the energy to do it and recover faster as well. Okay. Well, myself, I've been, I was raised vegetarian, and, um, but then I became vegan in 98, and I really didn't change my training. More so, the, my training changed only when I started competing. Because, you know, before that, I was really just okay. an avid gym goer. I just went to the gym and worked out just to get that look. But then once I decided to compete, I knew I needed to increase muscle, so therefore I started lifting heavier. So eating a vegan, regimented food style, it didn't really have any effect as far as me changing my, my, my lifting. My lifting just got better. Okay. Um, it, it felt as if I never had an issue with it being vegan for over 16 years. So it's, um, like, like Tiffany said, I've continued to put on muscle. Yeah. You know, so it, it's, I don't even look at it as it even, it's there. It's just part of my life. I just, yeah, yes. I, can't, I can't imagine eating any other way now. Honestly, right. like I, I can't imagine how my life was before it because it's just so, you know, it's just so natural to me. Yeah. And it's been six years for me since I became a vegan. So. Yeah. Well, it just seems like people out there freak out like, oh, you're vegan, you don't get enough protein. And then everybody focuses on protein, but not that many people. Uh, emphasize on amino acids. So can you break down the difference between proteins, amino acids, and what? Amino acids are the building blocks to protein. So when you're eating an animal, animals actually eat vegetables. So they're eating the amino acids, they're building protein on their body, and then you're eating the meat and then having to break it down. Whereas, you know, as vegans and, and vegetarians, we're, you know, going straight to the source, it's less digestion, um, we, you know, everything gets consumed quicker, and, um, you know, and you don't have to just focus on protein. I actually find that a lot of, pe of omnivores are more eat less protein than what vegans do because they just assume that if they're eating chicken and stuff, they're getting enough. And when I do meal plans for people, I see that they're actually not. You know, they're not eating enough. And um, you know, if you're eating enough calories, it's pretty hard to be protein deficient. Um, but also, you know, you need to pay attention to other things too, like carbohydrates. Like, you know, people are oh, no carbs, no fat, no nothing. You need all of those things in your body to make it work well you know, to make it work good as well. So, you know, you want to plan things around your around your workouts at certain times of the day and, and eat really a balanced diet, not just focus on one food group alone. Okay. And I can definitely agree with that. <laughs> when, it come, when it comes to protein, I, you know, in, in my, my, my lifting, I've never really focused on how much protein I should get in. I've really 
learned that it's more about how many calories you're getting in. Because once you're getting in enough calories that you need, like Tiffany said, you're getting in the protein that you need, you know, as well as the carbohydrates. You know, I believe in not having an abnormal situ abnormal um, relationship with food. Because a lot of times people are so scared of, oh, I don't want to eat that many carbs. You know, I don't yeah. want to eat that. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm concerned about this, that, and the other. And so their relationship with food is very restricted. You know, I'm I'm an avid eat everything. Yeah. You know, so <laughs> to eat get all the food, everything you need. So and okay. um, so definitely I agree with what Tiffany said as far as the amino acid and the protein breakdown because I've never even really looked at that as a problem. Okay. So for the people out there that are new to the bodybuilding realm, can you explain the difference between what it means to be on season and off season? Can I just say something? <laughs> One thing with myself, this is for me. I don't really have a on off season. I know usually when it comes to on yeah, off season, either. someone says that basically because they're not competing mm -hmm. or they're, um, but sometimes it can be they're training differently as well as training differently for a show. For me, and I think Tiffany can agree, I train like this year round and I, I, I eat year round. So I only, the only thing I can say is off about it is I may not be competing. Okay. But you know, I'm not going to just go crazy because I'm not competing where some people <laughs> tend to take that since they can go off season, I'll just go do whatever I want to do and then next thing you know, when the season comes for competition, they have to go through drastic measures to get ready. Which is dangerous and not healthy right. anyway, so right. you really want to keep it somewhat, you know, the same. But I think also people think like off season is that they could be like bulking, so right. to speak, where they're trying to put on more muscle. Maybe they didn't come in looking the way they did, wanted to at that, you know, a specific show. So during their off season, they're going to, you know, eat more food, eat, you know, more calories and, and maybe more fat and things like that and gain fat with the muscle and then cut down, you know, for the show drastically, which, like I said, is not, it's not the healthiest thing to right. do. It's, it's something you want to do if you're, you know, really need to try to change your body, you know, in a certain amount of time quickly. But for me, like, you know, I'll do, like, I just started, you know, four weeks out from a show as to when, it, and I think you do the same thing, like, so when you really start doing maybe, you know, increasing your cardio, um, cutting some calories because you want, you know, to cut down and things like that. But you're not, you know, I'm not going to, it's not like huge like thousands of calories difference where I'm off season and, and, I'm, and I'm not working out at all. Like I train hard all the time and I eat to make sure that I can get through my workouts all the time. All right, cool. So you brought up cardio. That's something important. I feel like um, a lot of people, they'll do too much cardio. Some people won't do enough. What is your take on cardio and how do you apply it to your own training regimen? Well, here's, cardio can be a personal thing. Um, well, the reason I say that is I know for myself, I don't do any cardio. I, and I say don't do any only because usually people consider cardio for 45 minutes, hour, something like that. I do maybe 10, 5 to 10 minutes to warm up prior to a, a workout. And if I feel like I want to just do something extra, maybe one or two days out of the week, I may do a set of sprints, maybe 15, 20 minutes work. And that's it for me. And, it's, and I'm able to stay lean close to competition year round just from my workout and the way I eat. You know, I, I don't eat super crazy. I mean, I eat vegan donuts and stuff like that. Everyone, you know, <laughs> a lot, but, uh, but um, I, I tend to, my body is adaptive to it. Okay. It's now, it's, it's, it's to that point where if I did the cardio that people suggest you should be doing, I'd disappear, you know, because that's how my body responds. Okay. You know, so I don't think people need to do a lot of cardio. And um, if anything, you maybe need to do three sessions a week, something like that. You should more so work your workout and your your eating should be what gets your body to look in the way it does. You he know, actually but that's my me to cut down on my cardio. Yeah, I remember. Um, you know, like, at this time last year, before my show last year, I was doing like insane amounts of cardio twice a day. I mean, I had a lot, you know, more fat to cut before my show. But you know, in the fall, he suggested I, you know, stop doing cardio, which was like for me, I'm like you know, terrified of doing that because, and I, I enjoy running and things like that too. So I actually enjoy cardio like a weirdo, but you know, he got me to stop. He's like, just listen to me, stop. You know, and I was, and I put on, you know, more muscle in a short period of time from, you know, cutting it out and, and not doing any cardio and, you know, and, and, and I actually got leaner, you know, from, from cutting out cardio. So, you know, it's just, you don't, you know, a lot of times if you do too much, you will break down muscle um, from doing too much just regular cardio. So you want to really focus on strength training. And when you're building muscle, if you have lean muscle mass, it's going to keep your body burning fat 
all day long, not just when you're in the gym. So you don't have to do all that crazy cardio. You know, push the weights. Don't be afraid to lift heavy. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> all right. So when uh, next competition? When is it, when's your next competition? Uh, three weeks from today in uh, Austin, Texas, I'll be competing with Team Plant Built, which we are both on. And um, yeah, that's my next competition. <laughs> Tough one here. Um, I'm actually gauging on how I, you know, I decided to take this year off okay. from comp competing just to kind of do some other things, some other projects I'm working on, as well as, you know, with you, Randy. Here with okay. you. Um, yeah. <laughs> and um, supporting my good friends here, Beast and Beast Barbie. But um, I'm, I'm still debating. I may still, I may do the show as well with her in three weeks from now. So we'll see. We'll see how All it right. goes. So tell us a um, little bit of the life outside of the gym. What, what are you into? What, well, I don't have much life outside of the gym <laughs> yeah. because I am a trainer and I do online training and I work in, you know, train in the gym, uh, various gyms, and um, I also CrossFit coach and, um, you know, I write nutrition plans. So, and right now with the competition coming up, like I said, I have to be kind of a hermit so that I, you know, can behave myself and not go out and partying and uh, crazy stuff like that. But, um, so, you know, pretty much that's what I'm doing. I mean, I, I do volunteer work as well. and. Um, at the Humane Society here in Broward County and um, you know so right now I don't have much of a life outside of the gym I'm always working all the time so which I like I like to be busy so I can't complain about that but I'm always always doing something active regardless but you know but it's when I'm not training for something you know I'll, I'll tend to be go out and be a little more social so myself I'm, I am an engineer by day so like Batman, I have. <laughs> but I'm an engineer by day okay. and um, have an engineering degree. I'm an engineer at Honda, supplier quality engineer. Basically, I work with um, suppliers that provide the parts to make the vehicle that we put out, which is the Odyssey Pilot, Ridgeline, and the MDX. And then on the side of that, I'm also a trainer. I, um, I'm currently working with a few girls who compete in the bikini competitions. And um, that is something I really love to do. You know, I love to. Um, help people get to the physique or the body they want to have in life, you know, and um, as well as working on other projects, working with people online, online consultation as well, you know, to get them looking. That's kind of new to me because I'm, I'm so used to the one-to-one -one touch, get to look to, to see what you're looking like. Right. The online thing, you're looking through pictures, so it's, a, it's more of a challenge, but I, I kind of accept the challenge because when you can help someone that way, you kind of have, you really are getting good at being able to look at someone and figure out okay what you need to do you know so I love that aspect of it so outside of the gym it's a busy lifestyle plus I have a son and married and things like right. that so it, it's it's a lot going on yeah so how can uh, people get in touch with you and set up maybe a training session or something uh, get in touch with her. <laughs> um, you can find I'm on Instagram at no excuses trainer um, Twitter is at tburich, B-U-R-I-C-H. My website is noexcusesfitness.org. And um, I also do uh, online group training with two of my uh, teammates as well um, for uh, Vegan Powerhouse Physiques, which is online group training. But for myself, I do you know competition prep and regular training. And um, so email is noexcusestrainer at gmail.com. So there you go. <laughs> the Vegan Dread, Facebook, Instagram, the Twitter as well. You can contact me that way, and um, the, the Vegan Dread is T-H-A Vegan Dread, not T-H-E, so you <laughs> should get that right. All right, there you have it, breaking down all the stigmas related to veganism and bodybuilding and muscles, so 